Hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connects. So in this video, we are going to understand how to auto share WordPress post on social media. So are you also regularly publishing blogs on your WordPress account? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here, I'm doing the same. I'm running a digital marketing agency and we regularly publish the blogs on our WordPress account. And now to get more engagement on that blogs, I want to create this automation. So where what I want is that as soon as a new post is created in my WordPress, automatically that blog should be shared across all my social media platforms which is Facebook X which is formerly Twitter and LinkedIn. So to do this we are going to create a connection between WordPress, Facebook, Twitter and then LinkedIn. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know in this video we are going to understand how to auto share WordPress posts on social media. So as you know that I run a marketing agency and we regularly publish blog posts on our WordPress site. So to maximize the reach, I want to automatically share these posts across our social media platforms like Facebook, X which is formerly Twitter and LinkedIn. So yeah, I'm going to do this with the help of an amazing automation software which is Pabli Connect as you know. So automating this process saves me time, ensures consistent engagement across the platforms and helps drive traffic on our website with without manually posting on each channel. So by setting up this automation, we ensure that our audience stays up to date in real time while focusing on other important tasks. So to do all of this, simply I have opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month but I'm an existing user so I'm going to click on sign in right over here and as soon as we are going to click on sign in it is opening all Pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli but in today's video we are going to use Pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli connects account and as soon as we are going to click on access now it is opening my dashboard and to start with this automation we are going to click on this button which is create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to auto share WordPress post on social media and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this. Trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So by this you can understand that the trigger the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger and to start with our automation we have to select our trigger application so over here for the trigger application i'm going to select it as wordpress because i want that as soon as a new post is published in my wordpress account automatically my workflow should be triggered so i'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now it is asking me for the trigger event. So trigger event means on which event the workflow will start. So over here I want that as soon as a new post is published the workflow should start. So I'm going to select the same and as soon as we are going to select this over here you can see that it is giving me a webhook URL. So yeah we are going to use this same webhook URL in order to create a connection between our workflow and our WordPress account. So what we are going to do is we are going to follow this help text step by step to build the connection. So first it is saying visit the plugins, add new page inside your WordPress admin area. So first I'm going to copy this webhook URL and then we are going to open our WordPress account. So as you can see that this is my WordPress account and now from the left sidebar we have to go on plugins. As you can see that this is the plugin. So we are going to go on plugins and then installed plugins. So over here as you can see that I've installed a plugin which is VP Webhooks. As you can see over here it is saying search for VP Webhooks. So we have to install this VP Webhooks plugin inside our WordPress. But as you can see that I've already installed I'm going to search for VP Webhooks right over here. And as you can see that I've already installed this plugin right over here. So if you want to install this plugin, you can go on plugins and then you have to go on add new plugin. You have to search for this plugin and then install this plugin right from here. But I've already installed this. So I'm going to move towards the another step. So it is saying install and activate the plugin. So yes, I've already did that. So it is saying navigate to the left sidebar settings, VP webhooks and send data. So again, I'm going to open my workflow. We are going to go on the left sidebar. And as you can see, 
see settings so you have to go on settings right from here and as soon as you're going to install the plugin under the settings you're going to see vp webhooks so first i'm going to open settings right from here and as you can see vp webhooks so you have to open this vp webhooks right under the setting and then you have to go on send data and as soon as we are going to go on send data right from here we are going to scroll and over here you can see on the left sidebar we again got some details so from here we have to select post created because this is the trigger event which we have selected so i've selected post created right over here and now we are going to click on add webhook url so as you can see that i've already added two webhooks right over here previously but i'm going to add a new for that i'm going to click on add webhook url and now it is asking me the webhook name so let's suppose that i'm going to keep the webhook name as testing right over here and now it is saying webhook url so we are going to paste the url we copied right from here in our workflow so we are going to paste it right over here and then we are going to click on add for post create and as soon as we are going to click on add for post create yes you can see that we have successfully added a webhook url which is testing right over here so yes now after adding this we have to go on this three dots and then we are going to go on settings and as soon as we are going to open the settings over here you can see the webhook url the trigger name and the technical name and now it is saying trigger on selected post type so i want that as soon as a new post is made automatically my workflow should be triggered and over here you can see that it is also saying post from trigger on selected post type so we have to select post from here and it is saying trigger on initial post status so we have to select it as published so i want that as soon as a new post is published then only this workflow or this webhook url should run and then we are going to scroll and click on save settings right over here and as soon as we are going to do so yes you can see settings saved so yes with this we have successfully connected our wordpress account with our pabli's workflow but over here you can see that it is saying waiting for webhook response and in the notes it is saying now log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission slash record so over here it is asking me to do a test submission slash record so in order to do this test submission what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my wordpress again from the left side bar we have to go on post right over here and then we are going to go on add new post and we are going to add a new post right over here so we are going to add the post title as this essential digital marketing strategies to boost your business in 2024 and then for the post content i want it to be this and after entering both of this i'm going to click on publish right over here and as soon as we are going to click on publish this means that we have successfully did the test submission and yes over here you can see post publish so yes with this we have successfully did the test submission and this also means that wordpress has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow so i'm going to open my workflow and check that if fably has captured the response or not so i'm going to open my workflow and yes you can see that fably has captured the response of the same over here you can see the post title we are going to move on forward over here you can see the post name we are going to move on forward you can see the post content that we entered and also over here you can see the post permalink so this is the link of our post which we are going to add further towards our facebook linkedin and x which is formerly twitter so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what i want is that as soon as this post is published i want to share it on facebook x which is twitter and also linkedin so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this one by one as my action steps and do the following so i'm going to select my action application as facebook first so i'm going to first share it with my facebook so i'm going to search for facebook right over here and as you can see facebook pages so we are going to select it as this and as soon as we are going to select the action application it is asking me for the action event so i want the action event to be create page post because i want to share the same and now i'm going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your facebook pages account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then we are going to click on connect with facebook pages and as soon as we are going to click on connect with facebook page over here you can see that it is asking me to select my facebook page so i'm going to click on continue as jesse matthew right over here and do the authorization so as soon as we are going to click on this and yes you can see authorization successful so yes with this we have successfully connected our facebook pages with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the page so it is asking me to select the facebook page and over here you can see the name of my facebook page is digital dynamics so i'm going to select the same right over here for my page i'm going to search for digital dynamics and as you can see the same so we are going to select it and now it is asking me for the message i want to send as the facebook page post so i want the message to be hello all new blog alert check out our latest posts on so here you can see over here i want to enter the post title so we are going to 
map the post title so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected wordpress as our trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so i'm going to give you an example that over here it is asking me for the post title so let's suppose that i'm going to enter the post title as xyz right over here by typing it manually then this will not change with every new response received but if you are going to map this from the previous response suppose over here you can see the post title suppose i'm going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and now it is asking me for the link url so we are going to map the url to of the post so i'm going to look for the link and as you can see the permalink so you have to map this link you have to keep in mind that you have to only map the post permalink right over here and after doing this we are going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request you can see that we have successfully created a new post right over here in our facebook and this is a positive response so we are going to open our facebook page and check for the new page post created so i'm going to open my facebook and we are going to refresh this to check for the new page post created and we are going to scroll and yes you can see hello all new blog alert check out our latest post on oh has the post title read it here so i'm going to open this post right from here and as soon as we are going to open this link which we attached right over here in facebook you can see that this is my blog so yes with this we have successfully shared our word press post on our facebook and now i want to share the same post on x which is formerly twitter so i'm going to add another action step right over here and now for the action application we are going to search for formerly twitter which is x so i'm going to search for it and now for the action event again we are going to select it as create a tweet and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect again it is asking me for the same so if you have already connected your x account which is formerly twitter account with a pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with x which is formerly twitter and now it is asking me for the client id and the client secret so to get this again we have to follow this help text which is saying read the documentations here to know how to create a client id slash client secret so i'm going to click on this learn more hyperlink to learn how to get the client id and the secret and now it is redirecting me to the forum so i'm going to open this and yes over here you can see steps by which you can get your client id and client secret so first it is saying go to this page sign up for a free account so i'm going to open this developers.twitter.com right from here and as soon as we are going to open this we have to go on this developers portal so i've already logged in my account that's why this is really easy so i'm going to open the developers portal and now after opening this we are going to go on the left side bars project and apps we are going to select the app which i have already created if you want to learn how to do this you can check out this forum steps and do this one by one now after opening this i'm going to go on keys and tokens and as soon as we are going to open the key and secret over here you can see the client id and the client secret so you are going to copy both of this right from here and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow one by one and now we are going to do the same for the client secret i'm going to click on this region rate right over here and again yes region rate and over here you can see the client secret so i'm going to copy this and paste it right over here in our workflow under the client secret and after doing both of this i'm going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save it is asking me for the login credentials for my x account so i'm going to enter it and click on login right over here and as soon as we are going to click on login it is saying to authorize the app so over here you can see that pabli is asking for some permissions so i'm going to click on authorize app and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on this because pabli is safe and as soon as we are going to click on authorize app you can see that we have successfully connected our formerly twitter account which is x account with our pabli's workflow and after doing this again it is asking me for the message so i want the message to be this hello all new blog alert check out our latest post on again we are going to map the post title right over here so i'm going to look for the post title and as you can see the same so we are going to map the post title right over here and now it is saying read more so we are going to map the link right over here only because as you can see that below are not the options to map the url so you are going to map the permal link right over here only so i'm going to search for permal link right over here and as you can see the same so we are going to map it and after completing the message it is asking me for the quote tweet id and the direct message deep link so as you can see both of these are not the required fields so i'm going to leave it as blank and click on save and send as request directly and as soon as we are going to click on save and send as request yes you can see that we have received a positive response again that we have successfully created a new post or a tweet in our x account which is formerly twitter so i'm going to open my x and check for the new post created so i'm going to open my x 
text right from here and after opening this we are going to refresh this right over here and as soon as we are going to refresh this page yes you can see that we have successfully created a new tweet right over here hello all new blog alert you can see over here is the tweet you can see the title which is the post title and the read more link so i'm going to open this link again and check that if it's the same post or not and yes you can see this is the same post so yes with this we have successfully completed our this action step two and now what i want is now i have shared the post in facebook and x which is formerly twitter but i also want to share this same post to my linkedin account so for that again we are going to add another action step right over here and now for the action application we are going to search for linkedin so i'm going to search for it and as you can see linkedin right over here so i'm going to select linkedin and as soon as we are going to do so again for the action event we are going to select it as share an article or url and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to do so again it is asking me for to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your linkedin account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't again you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with LinkedIn and as soon as we are going to click on connect with LinkedIn over here again it is asking me for the login credentials so I'm going to enter it and after doing this I'm going to click on sign in and as soon as we are going to click on sign in right over here yes you can see authorization successful we have successfully connected our LinkedIn account with our Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me to select the author so I'm going to select it as Ashi only it is asking me for the content so I want the content to be hello all new blog alert check out our latest post on again we are going to map the post Post title. I'm going to look for it, and as you can see, the same. So we are going to map it. So it has become hello all new blog alert. Check out our latest post on essential digital marketing strategies to boost your business in 2024. And again, it is saying read the full blog here. So we are going to map the URL of our blog right over here in article URL. So I'm going to search for the link again, and now we are going to map the link again right over here. As you can see, the same. So we are going to map it, and now it is asking me for the visibility. So I'm going to keep it as public only. and again we are going to click on save and send this request and as soon as we are going to do so yes again we have received a positive response and this means that we have successfully created a new page post on our linkedin account too so i'm going to open my linkedin and check for the new post added so i'm going to open my linkedin and yes you can see a new page post created which is hello all new blog alert you can see read the full blog here again i'm going to open this link which we have attached and yes you can see the same blog so yes with this we have successfully shared this wordpress post in our facebook x which is formerly twitter and linkedin so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so for the trigger application we selected wordpress for the trigger event we selected new post publish for the action application we selected facebook pages x and linkedin because i wanted that as soon as a new post is published in my wordpress account automatically with the help of the same post a new page post should be created in my facebook x which is formerly twitter and also linkedin so that i can get more engagement on my blog published and yes we were successful with our workflow too over here you can see the facebook page post created over here you can see the x page post created and over here you can see the linkedin page post created and yes automating this process save me time ensures consistent engagement across all the platforms and helps to drive traffic to our website without manually posting on each channel by setting up this automation we ensure that our audience stays up to date with our latest content in real time while focusing on on another important things and yes this was it for the video and now you can just sit back and relax because as soon as you publish a new post in your wordpress account automatically that same post would be added in your facebook page x and linkedin too and yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just leave this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching